Welcome, one and all, to the Draw Along Show. Thank you for being here with me today. My name is Kyle Webster. This is, I believe, episode 140 of the Draw Along Show. We've had a lot of shows these past year and a half. It all started when uh, lockdown happened and people wanted a little place to come and hang out and be creative together when everyone was stuck at home. And I'm glad we're still going strong. So thanks for hanging out with me for the show. Say hi in the chat and let's know uh, where you're from. Be nice to see if we have some folks from outside the country. We often have people from all over the world at the Draw Along Show. If you're watching on YouTube or Twitter or elsewhere, remember that I am following the chat at be.net slash live. That's the old Behance, okay? So head on over there if you want to chat with me, if you want to say hello, and if you want to ask questions and make suggestions at the end of the show for what I'm going to draw. Let's say hi to some nice people. Omnia is here, Mercurial and Sam. I see Steve, what's up? Gus, hey, Christelle, Fabio, Umicorn. Nice folks all joining here. Uh, Steven says he's in the old UK. Christelle is from France. Bonjour, Christelle. Merci d'être ici pour regarder. Um, okay, we are going to get started here. Now, you're going to have to have something to draw with for the show, of course. Pencil, pen, marker, crayon. Get a nice uh, bamboo stick and dip it in some soy sauce and then draw all over the wall. Whatever you want. I'm not going to judge. Okay. Folks, um, got a question for you. Okay. What is big? extremely strong, savage, and goes around saying, shh, Conan the Librarian. <laughs> they never get better, I promise. Um, okay, why don't we do some drawing? So get your stuff together and let's get to it. Today's is a fun one. And to do these drawings, as always, you have to be able to do three very simple things. What are they? They are a straight line, a zigzag, okay, or a curvilinear line. Curvilinear line might be everybody's favorite. C curve, right? It could be small like that. You get the idea. If you can do those three things, well then, you can follow along and draw along with me. So why don't we get started? Today's drawing is going to start with a triangle that has a rounded top. Let me show you what I mean. We're gonna make a V shape like this, okay? That's how we're gonna start our drawing. Now, if you're drawing this on a piece of paper and you're wondering about how big I drew this, I would say this is about a half an inch long. That's about maybe three quarters of an inch, three quarters of an inch, something like that, okay? Now, you wanna make these you know, pretty much the same angle and length. That's gonna help us a great deal. I'll zoom in so you can see a little bit better what I'm doing. I'm gonna connect these two with a curvilinear line. Right now, it's not going to be a big C curve up and over like this. It's going to be pretty shallow. So check it out. Over we go like so. So imagine it's maybe like a slice of pizza. All right, if that helps you out, it's a good thing to think about, isn't it? Mmm, pizza. Now, from here, this little corner, we're going to come up this way to the center. All right. And when I say center, I mean directly over the top of the bottom of this V right here. So I'm just traveling up this way, okay? Da, 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 da. All right? Same thing on this side, so we're just going for some more symmetry, okay? There you go. Very simple. All right, stepping on down. Now from this corner again, I'm starting right back again from where we started this curvilinear line. We're gonna go down at a slight angle and stop short of coming down all the way to where that V is, okay? Same here, come on down, stop short, okay? There we go. I wonder what we're drawing. Nobody knows, nobody knows yet. If you do know, I'm very impressed. From here, see this line right here? We're going to carry it out a little farther, like this, boop, okay? And then we're going to curve it down all the way to about here. This is the longest line of the drawing so far. It's gonna curve down to about here. Now it's important to note that I'm not gonna do a big curve out this way, okay? It's just gonna curve down like this. So here we go. Curve down to about there. Alrighty. I'll do that again so you can, I think I need to do it a little bit better. There, I think that's a bit better. I don't know. All right. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna take this and we're gonna actually pull it out to the side 
Okay, we're gonna do a nice straight line out this way. When I say straight line, by the way, folks, don't panic. You don't need to go get out a ruler or anything. Straight lines don't have to be perfectly straight. They can be a little bit wobbly. You don't have to sweat it, okay? We're gonna pull it out this way and it's gonna be wider than the right side of the drawing is so far. So when I draw, okay, I'm always looking up here saying, am I drawing it farther out than here? Yes, and if I am, then I'm successful. Okay, see that? It's wider. Then I'm gonna connect this line to this line. Now look, I'm trying to make that pretty straight, but it's a little wobbly, no big whoop, right? Like I said, you don't have to sweat it, okay? How about some symmetry action? Over on this side, okay, I wanna make another line out this way. Down like so. All right, so far, so good. Now right here, okay, about halfway down this curve, what I'm gonna do is a circle, but that circle's gonna be cut off, right, by this curvilinear line. So we're only gonna see part of it, check it out. I'm gonna go like that. So it's basically a letter C, okay? And then I'm gonna go one, two, and three. Three little lines, one, two, and three. See that? Easy peasy. And out from here, okay, I'm gonna draw a line that's gonna curve down this way here with a curve. See that? Curve straight down, all right? Then carry that straight line down a little further. So around and down. And then out from this curve, okay, I'm gonna draw a line out this way and cut it off like that. How's everybody doing out there? So far so good? Now I'm gonna draw this straight down and around, okay? So let's do the straight part first. Down we go, and then around we go, okay? And then up, like that. Now we can bring it all the way up to that line so they are interrupting uh, each other there. And I'll zoom out so you can see everything. Look at our proportions, okay? If you need to make some adjustments, no big deal. Now from here, we just pull it right into that line. See how these line up right here? All right, now I want you to come down from this corner. See this little corner here where it goes one and two? Just follow down that way. I'm not drawing, but I'm just moving to align things, okay? And from here, I just do a little line like that. Okay, there we go. Notice how that's at a slight angle. It's not straight up and down. Okay, and then here, I'm gonna leave some space and just draw a little line like that. And then whoop, up like that. Down and up like that. Cool. Now, from behind this shape, check it out. Down, see that little curve? And from here, I'm gonna go like that. So down and then a little curve. It's almost like a letter Y. Alrighty. We are almost done, folks. Coming back up to this area. Here comes the fun part. Now, this bottom section of the V. All right, watch this. I'm gonna come up and up like that. Look how much space I'm leaving up here at the top, okay? Then out and out, those are tiny little lines, right? And here, I'm just gonna come over like that. Sorry, I need to make this a little wider. Sorry about that, folks. There we go. Up like so, up like so, okay? Then just color these sections in. Just color those in. And here I want you to just repeat one and two, one and two. See that? So these lines are just echoing one another. And right here we go, bloop, C curve, and tiny C curve, tiny C curve. Look at that. One button, two buttons, three buttons, four buttons. And we have 
our little pal, Little Red Riding Hood. Now this is a fun little detail you can do on the basket here. Check this out. We're going to go make little diagonal lines like that. And then we just kind of crisscross them a bit. Okay, and that shows you a bit of that texture of that basket. Okay, so she's off to grandma's. Well, of course, we know grandma is not grandma anymore because grandma is in the belly of the big bad wolf. That is your Little Red Riding Hood. Now, you can customize this drawing. You can make it your own. You can do all kinds of cool stuff with it. For example, you know, you want to make some trees back there, right? You can have some trees. She's walking through the forest, etc. Right? So you can do a little, little background there. Do whatever you want. Maybe you just have her little house in the background. Maybe she's just left on her little journey. She's just starting out. Okay? Up to you, however you want to do it. Okay? Just a few little lines here is all you need. That is our You Draw It portion of the show today. Now we're gonna move on to something we haven't done in a little while. It's the doodle game. So why don't we take a look at our doodles? On the left, we have number one. On the right, we have number two. Now your job in the chat is to write a number, either write one or write two, and then a space, and then tell me what you think you see in these doodles. I'll zoom in so you can see them. This is number one, this is number two. If you see something like the part of something, okay, could be anything, part of an animal, part of a person, part of an object, whatever you see, write the number and then what you think you see. And then I will draw the doodles out and finish the drawings, okay? That is how the doodle game works. We've done this a bunch of times. You guys are always very creative and I love your suggestions. Um, I see some comments here about the good old salty sea captain. Folks, I promise the salty sea captain will make a return to the show. Um, I know he's very popular and I apologize that uh, he's not, he's not, you know, he's not here at the moment. Um, bear with me one second. I just have to make a quick change to something here. I noticed that um, Wirecast is being naughty again. Pardon me, pardon me. Just gonna fix the resolution here. This happens to me every now and then with the show. So let's see if I can get that working. Hopefully that'll clear up the picture there. It gets it gets pretty gnarly sometimes. Um, all right, I'm gonna look for your comments and let's see what we have here. Number one, lizard. I love it, a lizard. Now I have to see it. I have to see if I can see it, and I might not see it the way the same way you do. Number two, a leg kicking a ball, or a man running for a bus. Very nice. We also have a suggestion for number one that it's a dove. A dove. Hmm. One thing I like to do sometimes is rotate the doodle and see if I see what you see. Well, let's see if I can do something with number one first. Um, and it was Mercurial who said it's a lizard. So I'm trying to see the lizard. I don't know. Hmm. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna draw it like this. And I don't know if this is how you were seeing it, but this is how I'm going to interpret it, okay? And this is the cool thing again about this game is I'm never totally sure if I'm seeing it the way you do. But hopefully it's close. Lizard. Number two. Let's see. A dog leg. A dog leg. A dog leg. 
Um, like that, maybe. Maybe the dog is running. Let's try that. So it's like a super cartoony dog, right? You do like this kind of way. Very cartoony. How about that? Does that work? All right, well, there you go, folks. Thanks for those suggestions. It works, it works. The Doodle Game was a success. You know what time it is. Animal and Activity Game. If you've never played the Animal and Activity Game, I'll explain to you uh, how it works, okay? Uh, oh, excuse me. Before we get to that, we have to do Appreciation Station, and so, Today, we're appreciating our good friend, Omnia. Ah, Omnia. Do you remember that mission to Venus? We were on our way. We were almost at the landing zone, and then an engine zonked out, and I said, oh, we're doomed. We're doomed. But fortunately, you had been telepathically communicating with the Venetians for months before our trip. I had no idea you were able to do that. And so you sent them down a little mental message, say we're in trouble, we're in peril. And they flew on up and guided our ship down. They even repaired it. And while we were waiting, we got to eat some of that famous Venus food. Now, even though the Zoop Thork pudding was absolutely disgusting, we had to remember our manners and pretend we liked it. Fortunately, we were out of there again in a hurry. So thank you very much for that amazing skill and for your quick thinking. And um, I mean, you really saved our butts. That was amazing. All righty, so back to drawing. Omnia, we appreciate you. For the animal and activity game, if you've never been here on the show before, here's how it works. You will suggest for me, please, in the chat, an animal doing something funny or strange or unexpected. In the very few minutes we have remaining, I will try and draw that for you. And so all you have to do is write something crazy, and we'll see what we can do. In case you want a little bit of a hint at what's possible, last week we had an owl playing a banjo. We have in the past also done a hula dancing moose, and we've even done a zebra drinking a uh, Slurpee, okay? So, lots and lots of choices. Now, I'll grab my light blue, I'm ready to sketch. Let's see what kind of ideas we have coming at me today. An inchworm on a yardstick. Ah, Steve, I like that one. I think I'm gonna do that. Let's read some other suggestions first. A calico cat sitting under the queen's chair. Very nice, Mercurial. A roadrunner on a sailboat. Um, a giraffe roller skating. Porcupine washing a car, says Bruce. Tina Marie said the giraffe. These are all really fun. Umicorn has a shoe bill playing a shooter game. Oh my gosh, Umicorn, you're going to be so mad at me. I still haven't figured out how to draw that old shoe bill. I got to get to that. Well, time is very short, folks. We have about six minutes left in the show. So I think this um, inchworm on a yardstick is very clever, and I'm going to give it a shot. All right, so let's sketch it out. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make things interesting. And I'm going to use perspective, okay, so that yardstick isn't just sitting straight across my screen. Okay, so let's, let's throw that into perspective. And um, here's my halfway point right about here and my halfway point from there, and my halfway point from there. It's, it's pretty close to what I wanna do. And that's gonna allow me to then divide that up even farther and even farther. And that'll be my, these are my little measurements here, just so we know it's a yardstick. Now, we're gonna have that worm crawling towards us, crawling the right word, scooting, inching towards us. <laughs> Let's see that, there we go. 
And here comes our friend. My apologies, but he is not going to be truly an inchworm because then it would be way too small and that would make the drawing impossible to see. So instead, it's going to be about that size. Okay. And we need to give him a hat, I think. Let's change. The good thing about sketching is you can change your mind about angles and things like that. So I'm gonna make that a little, little more shallow of an ellipse. And I'm going to give him a little collar and a single leg of pants there. Okay. And there we go. Now I could actually carry that ruler back even farther. Couldn't I? To make it look longer. There. Let's knock our sketch back. Grab our darker blue color. And let's come up here and do some line art. Now, I might actually make my sketch just a little bit larger. There. important to put those little wrinkles in there, right? So we see that there's, um, whoops, I'm gonna make sure I tuck the shirt in there. And notice that I'm moving with these um, curved lines around that waistband just to help you know, reinforce this idea that um, the worm has volume, right? It's not, it's, he's not a flat thing. Okay, that's how you do that. And that's a important thing to remember. All righty. There is our worm. And now for my yardstick, here's a little Photoshop trick for you. Rotate your paper if you want to draw a, a straight line. I'll do that on a separate layer so I can move it. But that's a good way to do it, you know, just rotate until it's, you know, roughly vertical. And that's a quick quick and dirty way to get things. And to rotate, by the way, use the R key. Just use the R key. And if you hold down the Shift key while you're using that R key, um, you'll draw a straight line. Oh, pardon me, you'll, uh, if you hold down the Shift key while you're using the R key, what's gonna happen is, um, you're going to be uh, rotating in 15 degree 
increments, okay? So that's a handy thing as well. All right, let's hide our sketch there. And there is our inchworm on a yardstick. Thank you for that one, Steve. Folks, I hope you enjoyed that. That is the Draw Along show for today. I'll be back again tomorrow, same time. Please join me then. And until that time, remember to take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and please be kind. I'll say ciao for now.